Hello, and welcome to Mineral Splash. Hello, my name is Piero Piswall, PhD, co-founder of the European Artisan Drinking Water Foundation and author of Mountain Milk, The Bosoms of the Earth, and Raping the Clouds, inside the tap water industry. This week we will be tasting a fresh batch of offerings from the globe of mineral water and to celebrate the launch of my two new works we will also be tasting a couple of special little numbers I've had sourced from secret international locations that break EU regulations. Let the tasting begin. First up Aquapax. Now I don't like French people but they've decided to put their water in a carton which I think is rather novel and rather ingenious Imagine being able to take quality mineral water in a lunchbox or give it to your child instead of one of those cumbersome plastic bottles. Bon appétit. Oh, very French, very dry, very alpine. It's walking forwards, it's walking backwards. It's drawing a picture of an anorexic orangutan on the back of an ugly man's leg. And with packaging that convenient, who needs a glass? Next up, Tao. Tao really is the corporate businessman of the mineral water world. Walking about in a black charcoal suit and a white tie, he seems rather boring at first sight. But get him home and give him some cocaine and he'll turn into a real sex freak. Here's to you, sir. Ah. Uh, avocado immediately, followed loosely behind by a plateau of chalk and leather. Black leather. Please, Mr. Tao, don't hurt us. We only came round to play chess. Thank you very much. Now, this next water has no name at all. It's from South Sudan, and it's so artisan and so rare, you have to travel eight miles from the village and dig a hole nine feet deep to get seven or eight drops of the stuff. But today, we managed to source half a bottle. Now, admittedly, it doesn't look very pure, but I've been told it's the purest water in that area of South Sudan, within a 5,000 mile radius. Lumpy. Just the way I like it. Well, that's genuinely moving. Excuse me, I must take a minute. Let's just say it has a little bit of a kickback, but my God, have those Sudanese excelled themselves this time. Well done, bravo, cheers, and happy new year. Now, nobody has given this water an official name yet, but in the local area, they call it Fukushima number no. five. And of course, as we all know, Japan is one of the centers for artisan drinking waters. Well, it's glowing which is always a good sign. Wow, we it's, it's um, very pungent. It's burning my face. Let's give it a try. It's minty. I can feel it destroying all of the cells in my body. But I have to say, it's one of the more refreshing waters I've ever tried. Now, Hilden Spa. I was in Hampstead Heath recently, walking my alarmingly oversized dogs, and we stopped off at Kenwood House. Now, they presented me with Hilden, and I said, excuse me, Hilden Spa? You're offering me Hilden Spa at Kenwood? And they said, yes, it's, it's a very good water. And I said, no, it's not. It's as common as dirt. Because not many people know this, but Hilden Spa is sourced from exactly the same location as Abbey Well. And now, before we leave you, a quick word from Martin Swinton, the co-founder of the European Artisan Drinking Water Foundation. Martin, please. 
Yes, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's come to all of the Middle Dispatches. Uh, we're very grateful. I'd also like to say thank you to Piero, who has done a marvellous job with the show uh, and uh, has tasted some fantastic waters. I'd like to say two big thank yous. One to Nestle for getting hold of the South Sudanese water and also one to Exxon, who managed to source us the marvellous bottle of Fukushima number 5. Anyway, thanks a lot, everybody. Who came here today? Okay, and Martin. Also, yeah, thank okay. You very much. I'm being gestured to leave the stage now, but thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Sadly, that's all we have time for on this episode of Mineral Splash. But if you know of any other artisan waters we have not covered, and you are a member of the European Artisan Drinking Water Foundation, please do let us know, and we will endeavour to review the waters on the show. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>